Whoa! There goes another social trend. In order to get in front of it, your workflow needs to be on another level. Thankfully, with Canva, that's possible. Stick around and I'll show you some tricks. Hi, I'm Chris, a product manager here at Canva. If you're a social media manager or part of a social team, you probably have a social workflow that looks like this. At Canva, we spend a lot of time thinking about how and where we can plug into this process to help streamline or to automate repetitive tasks and ultimately save you time. Whether it's a whiteboard for a team brainstorming session or discovering our thousands of on-trend, fully customizable templates and even Magic Switch, which really changed the game in cross-platform publishing. We're constantly striving to pinpoint those time-consuming tasks, the ones that often cause bottlenecks, and devise solutions to make your workflow smoother and more efficient. So, in this video, I wanted to show you a few updates and new team tools that really boost performance. Hmm. I think I'll skip over the whiteboard planning section, as John recently created an excellent video covering that topic. It's definitely worth a watch. Once the planning is done, the easiest way is to start with a template. Choose social media and you'll be greeted with popular choices, or scroll down and you'll get more in-depth options. This section showcases our newest templates, consistently updated by our dedicated in-house design team, as well as talented template designers from our vibrant community. Select any of these, and you'll see that they're completely customizable and ready for you to add your brand colors, fonts, or images to really make it your own. I utilize templates as a springboard to quickly construct ideas, creating something distinctive by incorporating bits and pieces from various sources. In no time, you'll find yourself with a fresh and unique creation. This is the strength of starting with a template. It's speed. You can swiftly move from idea to proof of concept in no time. Speaking of quick solutions, let me introduce you to some image tools that have been absolute game changers. Say you have an image, but the background's a bit distracting, or there's no space for the headline. In the past, you would have placed a background on the text or spent time searching for a similar image. And you can still do that. But if you're wedded to this image, we could just use our premium editing tools like Magic Eraser. Adjust the brush size here. I can make the brush larger, which makes it easier to cover the area I want to remove, or make it smaller if I needed to do some more detailed edits. And look at that, isn't that wild? Now I have all the space I need for my headline. Alternatively, I could just use Backer Remover as well. Again, it's one click and done. I always feel like there's more to be showing you, but there really isn't. It's just that easy. Let's try another one, maybe with a product this time. Nice photo, but a lot going on. Again, just choose to edit brush over the area, and that's it. To really make your subject stand out, go into the Adjust menu and choose to only affect the foreground or background. Let's drop the saturation right down on the background. Ooh, isn't that amazing? Now you can guarantee the audience is seeing what you want them to see. And there are a lot of options here that are worth playing with. And actually embracing a playful approach is the key to mastering Canva. So dive in and have some fun. Another way to learn Canva is by checking out our tips from the team playlist. With most videos under 10 minutes and new videos every week, it's the perfect way to upgrade your design skills. Ah, here's the one with Tammy. She goes into a lot more detail about our new photo editing tools. A good one to watch after this. All right, those tools streamline your workflow, saving you from time-consuming and costly reshoots. Actually, while we're on that topic, 
product photography can often become a barrier. Getting the product made, finding a photographer, studio, lighting, it's a lot of work and outlay when all you really need is that proof of concept we talked about earlier. This is where Smart Mockups comes in. From the home page, go to Apps and choose Smart Mockups. Here you can find all sorts of ready-to-use mockups from laptops and tablets, smartphones, packaging, and apparel. Even Christmas tree decorations and cushions. Let's stick with the example from before. Type candle in here and you'll get a whole host of examples. Choose the one closest to your product. Select the artwork either from your uploads or straight from your designs. And look at that, it exists. Adjust the placement here. And you can either download the mock-up or instantly use it in a design, like an Instagram post, for example. And then apply backer remover or magic eraser, just like we did before. Easy, huh? It's also really good for building out marketing plans and proposals. Approvals are always more likely if people can see how it works in the real world. For instance, maybe you want to show how that social post is going to look IRL. I love that it's all there. No need to jump into or juggle other programs. Ah, that just reminded me of something. Back on the app page, you'll find the content planner. This is incredibly handy for making sure the team knows what's coming up and what's going live. If you're ready to schedule a post, click here. Select the design, choose your platform. And if you're not seeing your account, you might just need to connect it here. Write your caption and choose the date and time here. And that's it. Here, you have a complete overview of what your team is posting, so you can ensure everyone's being consistent. Once something goes live, you can go into the insights and see what sort of reach it's having. Add your own important dates like this. Canva will even suggest upcoming events, helping you identify potential opportunities for aligning them with your brand. International Left Handers Day, anyone? <laughs> with Canva's suite of tools at your disposal, seamlessly integrated into your workflow, managing social media content has never been easier. While there's much more to explore, I hope these initial tips help in simplifying your process and saving precious time. Any questions and feedback? Would love to hear it. Put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Oh, hey, seems like you're still with us. Looking for something else to watch? you should check out our playlist. It's full of good stuff. Oh, that reminds me, this video might be worth a watch now. See you next time.